Hi, my name is Rachel Walker and here is my IB. So the first situation that I'm going to be doing is the making dinner and you burn yourself with hot water. So say you're cooking with hot water and the pan slips and you get hot water on your arm that burns you. You want to make sure you put this somewhere where it's not going to cause a fire or any further damage. Then you're going to look at your arm and put it under cold water for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the pain subsides but it should be around that area. If you notice that it's a really bad burn you're going to want to call 911 for further assistance. Also make sure that there is no objects inside your arm and for this situation there would not be. Next you're going to apply a non-stick dressing or like a compress but don't apply any pressure. Um, or a gauze, but don't apply any pressure and um, make sure that it's non-stick. Also, do not wrap it around with tape. You don't want to do that. You just want to set it on there and um, let it be on top of the burn. When you take that off and you notice that you have blisters, do not pop them because this could cause infection. And if you still continue to have pain or you notice that it's a really bad burn, you're going to want to go seek um, medical help for that. So for my next situation, it is going to be the one where you are in the in the woods with your friends and you guys are spraying each other with bug repellent and you accidentally spray it in your friend's eye. The first thing that you would want to do is um, call poison control and notify them of the accident. And then if you have any running water or a water bottle, you're going to want to gently flush out your friend's eye. Make sure to ask them if they have contacts because if they do have contacts, those are going to need to come out. And if they don't, then just continue to flush their eye. Um, make sure you do flush them though um, after the contacts are taken out because stuff can get trapped underneath the contacts and you don't want any of that trapped in there. So make sure it's flushed after the contacts come out. And then... Um, you would just after you flush out your friend's eye you would want to wait um, until poison control arrives at the scene or any further medical help so for our next situation it's going to be the one where you're at a Chinese restaurant with your friends and they choke on a rib bone and you have to perform the Heimlich on them so the first thing you notice that your friend is choking because they either say I'm choking or they do the universal sign for choking. If they can't answer you, you say, can I, ha can I help you? <laughs> then you're going to get behind them and you're gonna put your one foot forward, your one hand above their navel, the other one around them and with upward and inward motions, you're going to continue <laughs> until the object is dislodged or the patient becomes unconscious and you're gonna have to call someone, ask the bison <laughs> to call 911 and wait for them to arrive on the scene because then you're, well, you're gonna do CPR until they arrive on the scene. Thank you.